We're at Hauska Gallery, and we're having an exhibit of two St. Louis female artists. They are basically polar opposite in their works. I have Mitra Mitchell downstairs in the front gallery and Jenna Bauer upstairs. With the actual pandemic, people are staying home and they're wanting more realism, more realistic things, and Mitra Mitchell's art is very popular right now because of all her details in the amount of different realistic icons that she uses in it. This work, Other Disguises, on a personal level for me is a great pleasure to share with other people right now in the community because I feel like we're living in a world where um, so much of us are sort of entering into the unknown. There can be feelings of uncertainty and I would say also terror, but also the embrace of creating a new world and a new potential you know, for the future. And so I feel that in this particular work, for me anyway, that's where I've been heading. I am actually thinking about them as the theater of painting. So I'm actually, as the director of this theater of painting, setting a stage. And in the stage, I'm actually decorating it with dollhouse furniture. A lot of the plants actually that are in these scenes, I've hand sculpted them. Not everything in the scene is life-size. Most of it could be fit on a tabletop. Of course, paintings are illusions. They are not always reality, but I hope the work encourages play and imagination and especially encourages others to not be afraid. And in the upstairs gallery, we have Jenna Bauer, where although hers is very contemporary and minimalist, it is also about realism in her mind, their landscapes, but it's broken up in very contemporary color blocking. Grid painting is a genre in the art world. Um, if you put a crisscross in there, it becomes part of that canon of grid painting. So I wanted to have a dialogue with grid painting throughout art history. So faced with eight weeks of dedicated studio time, I decided to work on a new material, a 300 pound watercolor stock that has a rough texture. And I also dove into gouache paint. It's very chalky and opaque. And in some sense, this body of work is process paintings. Every morning I made sure to have a discipline of waking up and painting and exploring these colors. But it also speaks to the work that I've been making for the last 20 years in that I'm exploring colors that might suggest landscape. So that became a morning meditation to paint every day um, increasingly smaller and smaller and smaller landscapes, but they have the concentration of this color study in them. I can preserve the colors that I use on tin foil, and some of the same colors have appeared in the landscape painting that I work. So there's that carryover. We're so excited to feature both of these artists. They are well known in the St. Louis area, but both have new unique pieces. The show is open to the public and continues through May 29th.